This is Robert Smith of The Cure. I'm at the JB Web Show, and you're not. Well, I am bad. Uh, it's it could have been an interesting match. We've got uh, the pink thumb, and uh, the other thumb is named Thumma. Uh, so it's Thumma and Louise, pink thumb. Thumma and Louise. All right, it's going to begin right now. There's only one homeless guy watching, and uh, it's female thumb wrestling. It's very hot trend. It's going to be trending up. It's awesome. Okay, ready? Go. Come on, go. Go, female thumb wrestling. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, okay. Just start the match already. All right, come on. Come on. There it goes. There they go. They're really going at it now. Oh, look at that. Oh, she's got her down. She's got her down. That little scrawny one's got the big one down. It's unbelievable. Look at this. Finals. Amazing. No, no, no! Louise is trying to come back, and Thumb, Thumba, Thumba looks like she's not giving up. A little scrawny, scrappy, Thumba, Thumba beat Louise. Thumba beat Louise. That's right. That's the female thumb wrestling. Thanks for tuning in. We'll have more episodes to come. It's a popular sport. Female thumb wrestling. Oh, look at that! Both of our musician interviews today are made possible from bombshellbodyart.com. Jumpstart somebody's heart. Yeah, really good. Good, all right, cool. You're, you're really in the red there, so that's good. Um, what I'm going to do is kind of back away from the mic a little bit. I'm holding you up to the mic, so. Um, once you hear the music, Scott, uh, you're going to hear my voice, and uh, then I'm going to uh, introduce you as, um, you know, and uh, we're fortunate enough to have Scott Kinnan on the line with us. Am I saying it right? Canan, 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 Canan. All right, all right. I just gotta say it right about twelve times. Canan, Canan, Canan. All right, cool. So, um, let's do this. Uh, oh, wow, yeah. Okay, cool. Let me test the levels on that. Welcome back to the JB Web Show. You're listening to the sounds of Incubus in the background. Legally, I think that's about all I can play. Um, but fortunately, we're fortunate. Welcome back to the JB Web Show. We took a long holiday break. And uh, now, good people, we are back. We are back. And uh, I have on the line with me Mr. Uh, Scott Kinnan. Kinnan. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, welcome to the JB Web Show. Uh, uh, thanks a lot for agreeing to be on, on the line with us. And you guys have definitely quickly uh, incubated uh, from this summer to uh, playing over about a dozen gigs around Central Florida. And uh, now the word is that you're recording some music. Uh, you're uh, in the studio uh, getting ready for some big plans in 2011. But um, right. I want to, uh, again, quickly thank you for being on the show and uh, ask you to kind of give us an overview of who's in the band and maybe what the feel of the band uh, is. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Um we have hit it hard in the last couple of months after uh, we spoke with you originally and did quite a few shows and got a lot of love and support from everybody and yeah. have a lot of good stuff coming up this next year. But uh, There's four of us in the band. Johnny's a singer. He's the guy that originally did the uh, first interview with you. Yeah. And uh, he and I had met uh, in another band, and uh, when the band broke, we decided to start something new. And uh, this is the result of that effort. So I found awesome. a couple of... Good guy, young, a little bit younger, and a lot of energy and, and stuff, and uh, brought them in and started writing songs fast and feverish, and, and uh, done amazing, absolutely amazing. It's uh, beyond our wildest dreams. So, well, I know you, I know you have, uh, you know, put together some good talent uh, in the band, and uh, Johnny uh, Murano, of course, uh, uh, Chris Mojena, am I saying that? Mojena, Mojena, yep. and Danny Jones on the drums. Um, right. Scott, how long have you been playing music? Oh, man, probably longer than I would care to tell, but, uh, <laughs> you know, many, many moons, man. Almost, uh, it's been, almost as long as some of those guys have been alive. But, yeah. You know, it's, it's funny how it comes together, even different, uh, uh, different ages, and we seem to, uh, click really well. Yeah, well, I, I know you have a great sound. Um, the cool thing about this particular interview is, you know, on my show, we typically like to play a little music from the, the local original band, right? So <laughs> right. there's nothing out there at all. But what's awesome is 
is that yeah it's not going to be that way for long you guys are are kind of perfectionists when it comes to uh your music and that's that's what uh you know is worth waiting for so we're going to hang on until 2011 to actually get some audio incentive from mana machine to uh, right. uh go out and see a show but the best way is to go see you guys live right i mean absolutely yeah absolutely and we'll have a lot of shows uh starting again in january we'll have a lot of shows uh since this month we're taking uh the month off relatively speaking just to get uh things tidied up get, get the demo finished that we're talking about so we'll have our three uh three song demo um awesome. and hopefully that'll be done before the end of the year and then we plan on getting out there and hitting it hard and heavy and bigger and better shows than uh, i think any of us have ever uh before so that's awesome well we really see nothing but great growth uh from mana machine and again i mean you're six you know your your band is is uh, about six months old uh right. you, your your talent uh, seems to be uh, timeless <laughs> you know you've got uh, a lot of great uh key players uh, energy focus and direction so we we see nothing but great stuff coming from you guys in the year to come um so w- what does mana machine mean i know john well you know, it's funny, uh, I, I kind of took a back, step, back, stay, uh, back seat on that uh, particular topic, and it was pretty much Johnny's concept and an idea, and he had it probably a long time before we ever got together. But uh, basically it has to do with uh, ancient aliens and, and stuff like that. And we thought, well, it'd be a really cool thing to be able to write music against. Uh, a lot of cool stories. Johnny's, Johnny's lyrics are very story-oriented. And, right. And uh, so his lyrics kind of go along that line it gives him a lot of um a lot of uh, material to write from and uh you know and knowing johnny you know it actually kind of fits a little bit <laughs> yeah yeah well but, uh, yeah johnny's a very creative guy that's for sure absolutely, absolutely. um well, you know what's cool, um, and again, I want to I want to thank you, uh, Scott uh, Canan, for taking some time out and chatting with us, man. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your uh, your support and everything, and uh, support of the people in the area and stuff, and look forward to uh, you know look forward to it uh, this next year. Well, there's no doubt um, you're going to be a, a pretty big name, I think, or people are going to know of you. So. Uh, we're we're definitely ha- uh, happy and proud to be acquainted with you guys, and uh, you know, in this year to come, as spoiler alert, uh, we're going to be capturing some cool live footage of you guys, and um, you know, right along the lines of uh, some other great local or Orlando bands. I uh, definitely think you guys have the chops to uh, uh, get some serious considerations w- when it comes for uh, lyrics and song songwriting, and uh, uh, you know. But again, this is all uh, uh, mysterious because uh, the music is not out there unless you go see the show live, and January fifth. Uh, as before we close out here, January 15th, right? You guys are playing yeah, live at Sh- Shay's Lounge, right? In Mount Dora. Yep, we got a show there. We also have, uh, it's going to be confirmed shortly, a, a show at the Haven in Winter Park or Orlando awesome. towards the end of the month. Okay, cool. I uh, don't have the particulars on that yet, but if you check out our, our uh, wearemanamachine.com website, it'll take you to our Facebook page. And there's an events tab there that'll show you, uh, you know, all the different... Uh, uh, shows that we're going to have upcoming. Okay, cool. So that's the best way for people. And I'll throw it up here on the video portion. All right, Scott. Um, uh, uh, we are manamachine.com. Go check them out. We got a little, whoa, Deftones in the background closing us out. Scott, thanks for taking time out today. Thank you, JV, man. I look forward to, uh, to uh, seeing you very soon, man. Well, uh, you again for your time. We look forward to seeing you live in 2011. Keep on rocking. Right on. All right, we'll talk soon. Thanks for tuning in to the JB Web Show. We got more to come. Keep your hats on. La JB Web, affiche 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 la JB Web.
Off a she, la she be way up, off a she. enough mr tom cooper and let me move my mic over here and uh tom cooper from the oak hill drifters online with me how you doing tom i'm uh, doing good jp how are you hey doing great man we just uh uh wanted to uh give you a big thanks for taking some time out after the holidays and chatting with us all right you are welcome yeah so uh well Thank i wanted to me. yeah man my our pleasure our pleasure listen i want to kind of get right into oak hill drifters um First of all, if you want to tell me who else is in the band, and uh, you know maybe to uh, a little origin story. Well, first of all, the, the band consists of it's a trio, it's a vintage style rockabilly western swing type trio with a drum, drummerless trio with a upright doghouse bass, uh, Gus Ramage playing the uh, full fiddle. Yeah. And That's awesome. Uh, it's like a Hank Williams there, a steel guitar. Yeah. That's sort of our little, uh, our little setup. And the, the name Oak Hill Drifters, Oak Hill, West Virginia, is uh, the place where Hank Williams Sr. was declared pronounced dead. Oh, man. And sort of like, yeah, part of the, it's sort of homage to Hank Sr. and uh, uh, Justin Cowboys, you know. Although we just kind of expanded into trying to do uh, some Western swing. Yeah. Right? So that's more where we're uh, headed now. We're still, you know, always based on Hank Hank Williams' uh, country sound, rockabilly, of course, and uh, yeah, and Charlie Feathers and the whole rockabilly thing. Well, you got you, you guys really sound really authentic, man. And um, oh yeah, Thank you know you. you're quite welcome. I mean, it's it's. Um, you know the big thing I think that's important is that it's you know what it's been it's been done this style of music but it's been done so long ago and since then a lot of people tried to do it like that and then it's been all these years and now here comes along Oak Hill Drifters uh, with a lot of deep uh, meaning and you guys you guys are hitting the nail on the head for, as far as my opinion because I, I, I you know my secret background my dad's heavy into bluegrass and as a kid I went to all these yeah. bluegrass festivals and man I tell you you guys really are just hitting it right on the head so uh, well, congratulations the bluegrass thing with the dobro and I, I loved it it's a great thing but uh, electric steel guitar kind of took over for me and uh, I just truly listen and love that Era, I listen to all I really I like the all you know, I can take some of the new stuff too, the modern uh, uh, uh what do they call it? Um uh, new traditionalists and all that and uh, right. but uh 
Well, so... Who's the mandolin? Who's the mandolin player? Mandolin? I, I play mandolin That's awesome. somewhat. I mean, you know, up to the first five frets. I, I enjoyed <laughs> Peace the Wife, and I kind of ended up getting called to do uh, mandolin for some That's awesome. There, but well, that's a, really play that's, so a, kinda, that's a beautiful I, instrument. Like, so you kind of just self-taught a little bit and messing around with it. Uh, yeah, I know how to cross stick a little bit, and people think I can play it, but I really, I'm not a real mandolin player. I, Well, that's where you're headed. I got. I, I'm going to close out the show in a couple minutes with uh, a track from uh, some of your older stuff, and uh, maybe you know we can kind of get uh, people out there to realize the cross feel of what uh, your potential is. Because um, you know you're you're in the studio now. You got some uh, potential album coming out, uh, uh, independent release coming out in uh, by spring of next year, right? That's cool. Uh, Be looking forward to that for sure. So people can go check you out after the new year, January. Uh, you got a benefit gig. Uh, we, I think uh-huh. you said January twenty eighth. That date is solid, or um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, twenty eighth at uh, uh, McCraney's Tavern. And okay, cool. Giddy up, go wonderful uh, ambassadors of the more than sixtieth country sound. Cool. And, Now you're also classified, I guess, as folk. Uh, so you're yeah, also sure. going to be in February out at the Manolo Folk oh. uh, event, also. You said. That's, that's right. We played it last year, and we're uh, Gordon asked us back to do this this year, and uh, we're going to be on the Sunday um, day on that event, and it's going to be just a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. I just, uh, <laughs> February twelfth and thirteenth. Okay. Now you're driving in your car right now, aren't you, partner? Yeah, my old baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> that's adorable. That's adorable. Oh, well, that's good. Well, we just got her on tape. So uh, here, I'm gonna, I'll, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the music rolling. Uh, pump it, pump it up there. And hey, man, Tom Cooper, hang on the line for me. I'm gonna let the song play out. It's called uh, Orange Grove. We've been talking with Tom Cooper of Oak Hill Drifters on the JB Web Show. Hang tight. We got a lot more coming up. Keep it tight. Smell is pretty out of the cold. 